All right, let's hop into this. Game number three here between the St. Clair Saints and Concordia University Ann Arbor as we are now with the Saints in a position to take this one away and get themselves their second 2-0 of the day. If they can keep this up as they are putting Concordia in a world of hurt so far here in this matchup. We're now on raid for the control. Of course, like I was saying prior, with respawns and attack and defend, a little bit of a mix of multiple roles, but there's still still respawns and whatnot. And Priestley going to start things off nicely. Brandon going to get himself two as well. Sasnado already on position here at point B. Going to start capturing as much as he can. And as soon as Wonks... Uh, pops his head out, takes care of him nice and quick. Halfway through capping, Sauce does not care, just gonna keep on hanging on. And actually, just like that, they very well might be able to all just hop onto the point and burst this thing down. Point B going down without a hitch. Beautifully done there from the side of uh, St. Clair. That being said, Priestley is gonna end up going down as they start to transition towards A. And we do see CUAA all just kind of clobbered up there on that A point and still makes it very difficult for them to still make something happen considering time and time again the Saints are there they've once again just plowed on through they're on the point and this is looking rough now for Concordia once again Brandon long shot I'm gonna take care of that one Sasnado takes care of Wonks as well and then there's three people firing at you unfortunately they're for Python no matter what you try to do you break into the site everybody from the Saints is there quick speed run let's send that one into HADQ why don't we nice quick round win there for St. Clair Yeah, respawns were not even a factor there into this game. Just straight up just took the points as is. It was a nice quick one there for St. Clair. Now with them on the defensive side of things, can they just hold them out? I mean, they had a nice round there versus EIU last time in the one that would have finished the entire match where they almost essentially skunked them in regards to control points where the... The timer went down so quickly, it was absolutely brutal. But with a lot of the members of uh, Concordia just kind of beelining it towards this A site, it's going to make Saints kind of uh, force them to rotate a little bit awkwardly. And it is going to be the first piece of progress down for the side of Concordia. So they're not going to get completely skunked here, but it is going to be Priestley making down onto the site does take care of Wonks. Towards B, there's going to be a little bit of action as well. Brandon's going to shut it down, however, until Python shows up and makes sure that he secures that one. If he is feeling confident, he very well could move forward. But he's actually going to opt to go right into the middle and just get slaughtered by Priestley. So, once again, Saints playing aggressively right now. Sauce is going to end up going down. But Saints are in a decent enough position where they can make this work. Priestley and Lavelle are going to just keep on cleaning up this squad. Anytime they try to get any sort of aggression any sort of progress towards one of these points somebody is there to answer and that's extremely rough to try and deal with as the three of them fall once again dx hunter just kind of puts the tail between his legs and runs away as sasanato still takes him down it's not uh wongs is going to finally take him out but still lots of pain here for the side of uh FCUAA as Priestley just goes absolutely bonkers, taking everybody down. They could very well make the switch over to A, and granted, they did take down Lavelle, so they might be able to at least capture that A point, because they only have 11 seconds left on the board here. One more clean sweep, one more good wipe of, uh, of health there, and they will be down and out. AK Lavelle, that grenade got two. Best case scenario there. For Lavelle and St. Clair finishes it off with a triple kill. Right now, Concordia, they just not long for this world at all. And Saints just need one more round to complete this double 3-0 of the night. Would be absolutely ridiculous. Here's the double grenade kill there from Lavelle. Does take down two. Hops up on the building. I think he finds Wonks. Yeah, sure enough. Takes him out as well. Beautiful play. And just look at some of the KDs. Like if you're if you didn't look at the scores and you just looked at the KDs, you could kind of tell how this game was going. 
with three of the Saints in the tr in the double digits right now, already in terms of eliminations. And I mean, Brandon is literally one away from actually getting in there himself. And it's just the way it's rolling right now here for St. Clair. Lavelle going to be the first one to make it on to the points and start trying to capture that eight point. But Wonk's going to take him out. Sauce going to get the refrag, though. At least it's going to take care of DX Hunter. And now a lot of Concordia kind of cluttered near the A site, and that's going to allow, it will be Priestley and Lavelle to make the run towards B, start capping that, and get in the position. Priestley going to take down Wonks, but he is going to get taken out right around the corner. We have actually capturing from both points as of right now. You hardly ever see this happen, and you hardly ever see this work. Uh, Lavelle's going to just hang into the, uh, the water and actually... Does get the outplay there onto Wongs. Meanwhile, A site still being completely defended. How they're actually getting away with this is beyond me. The A point is completely captured. Lavelle is hanging on to this long enough and causing enough of a trouble that it just gets completely flipped on its head. Beautifully done there from the Saints squad. Lavelle gonna pick up another. And Priestley, he's just hunting at this point. That's all he necessarily needs to do. Lavelle's still just sitting there on the point, already halfway done his capture. X Hunter going to be no longer <laughs> existing, and everybody just fell from the side of Concordia. This is absolutely brutal stuff here. The 3-0 sweep in round number three, the 3-0 sweep in this series, and the 3-0 sweep in this entire day of games. The St. Clair Saints Varsity Call of Duty team are absolutely nuts. This would normally be the point in time where I try to go very in-depth and uh, talk about the match as it, they occurred. But does there really need to be any explanation about what we just witnessed? Just absolute destruction, to say the least, coming out here from St. Clair. And, I mean, good games all around to everybody so far in this uh, in the season. Of course, it's just week one. And there's still plenty of time. I mean, I know we've seen EIU, we've seen Concordia have some hard times. It's still early for them as well. By all means, keep practicing and keep going. There's still going to be many more matches. And hopefully we'll see you down the line in another rematch sometime soon. But for now, Saints are looking absolutely brutal in the best way possible. Double three O's here today versus EIU. And then now here with Concordia University Ann Arbor. A fantastic way to get the season started. But with that, we're gonna not take too much time here. It's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit later on the side of things. I find myself slightly wearing out over here. So real quick, once again, big thank you to the sponsors that make this team and the broadcasts all happen. That being, of course, St. Clair College, PC Outlet, Zuckerman School of Business and Information Technology, Tim Hortons, and the St. Clair SRC and St. Clair College Alumni Association. Of course, big thank you to everybody tuning into the match. Hopefully you didn't just join us because maybe it was, uh, it maybe blinked and you missed it, but it is A-OK. -okay. If that's the case, you'll catch up real quick in the VODs, of course. And be sure to follow us on the, Saint, the Saints Gaming Twitch channel because there's always tons of action lined up for us. Of course, join us tomorrow as we take some more Collegiate League of Legends, actually, up against the University of Waterloo. Then more league action in Sea Law this time for our start of the doubleheader on Saturday, 3 p.m. And then we have the R6 Collegiate Championships for Rainbow Six Siege happening at 7 p.m. Counter Strike returns at 5 for the Face It CSGO Contenders League. And then Monday, we're back with Upsurge for the Upsurge Minor League for some League of Legends action. And then Tuesday, well, I'm just like I was saying before, I'm just straight up not sure what we're streaming just yet because there are so many matches on Tuesdays and we got to see what we can do to get as much of it broadcasted as possible. So with that, we'll close out for tonight. Big congratulations to the Call of Duty team here at St. Clair as they've just put on an absolute clinic, silencing the haters, silencing the crowd, and maybe taking any doubts out of their head, if you know what I'm saying. But thank you again for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow for League of Legends in some Collegiate League action.